Hey YouTube, Cryptscore 11 here. This is going to be a uh, deck profile for my Naturia deck. The deck basically revolves around summoning Bamboo Shoot and then trying to control the game from there. So the, it plays three Bamboo Shoot, obviously. Uh, when he is tribute summoned by tributing a Naturia monster, your opponent cannot activate spell and trap cards. The thing about Bamboo Shoot is if he gets effect veiled, then his effect doesn't come back. He just turns into a vanilla monster. Um, Cliff. Cliff is a recruiter for the deck. When Cliff is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a Naturia monster with 1500 or less attack in face of attack position on your side of the field. Cliff will miss his timing if he is used to, uh, as tribute for Bamboo Shoot or if he is used as Synchro Material. He does not get his effect if he is used for either of those. Next, play. I play three cherries. Cherry is good for multiple reasons. You can obviously just set cherries and then let them attack into it, and then you can stall for turn for a few turns if you need to, or you uh, you can have the two cherries down, right, and then tribute one for bamboo shoot, and then if they affect Valor your bamboo shoot, you just flip over the other cherries, right, and then just synchro into a Barkeon. So it's good for multiple reasons. Um, next, I play Double Butterfly, because Butterfly is good when you're trying to get Bamboo Shoot out, or just protect Bamboo Shoot, because once per turn you can mill the top card off of your deck to negate an attack. So it, it, it'll it stay on the field longer, it, it only has 500 attack. So I wouldn't expect it to stay out there too long, but if you have a Bamboo Shoot in hand, then that's obviously going to make it easier to summon by using Butterfly. Um, next, play one Mantis. Uh, I was originally playing two Mantis, but I found that it w didn't really do anything besides, because its effect never really goes off. Mantis's effect is, when your opponent normal summons a monster, you can pitch a Naturia monster from your hand to destroy that monster. Uh, I never found myself using that effect that often, so I cut it down to one. I mean, he's not bad. He, seven, no, yeah, 1700 attack, so it's not, it's not a bad monster. Um, Rose Whip, I play one... Rosewhip is like a temporary bamboo shoot because it limits your opponent to one spell or trap card per turn. So it's not as good as bamboo shoot, but it'll definitely help stall you out until you can get your bamboo shoot out. And Rosewhip has 1700 defense, so you can just set Rosewhip and then let them attack into it so its effect goes off. And then for the last monsters, I play Double Bouncer. Um, pretty much when you have Cactus Bouncer up on the field, as long as you control another plant monster besides Cactus Bouncer, uh, neither player can special summon. So, like, the best field that I can hope for is, like, a bamboo shoot and a bouncer and then back row protection. And that's pretty much what this deck is based around, is making this field. So it's, um, it's not bad. It only plays 15 monsters, so that warrants me having to play the next card. Um, I play three duality in this deck. It's, it's needed because of only 15 monsters, and it keeps the hands very consistent. So, yeah, it's duality. I mean, there's not a lot that we already don't know about the card. Um, let's see. Next, I play Triple Shrink. Shrink is good because every one of your monsters is little. And if you have cac the Cactus Bouncer uh, Bamboo Shoot field going on, like the deck is meant to make, then... Like, all they can do is just, no, like, they can tribute summon for a Cyber Dragon, which is 2100, and then you just play Shrink, and then the Cyber Dragon dies when they attack into it. See what I'm saying? And, uh, let's see, Grandmaster of the Six Samurai is also 2100, and you can tribute summon him. I had somebody do that to me, and I had Bouncer and Bamboo shoot up, and they tribute summoned, um, Grandmaster, and then attacked over my stuff, and so I figured I have to fix that, so I played Shrink. Um, the next problem, the next, you know, card that solved my other problem was Forbidden Chalice. Um, my main issue, once once I had my board set up, was Tribute Summoning for Cyber Dragon, so big monsters would shrink alleviated. And then Raikou, which was the only thing that could crack my board once it was set. So with Chalice... If you have Bamboo Shoot and you attack into a Raikou, you can just flip Chalice and then Raikou doesn't blow you up. So um, that was 
the thought behind Triple Chalice. Next, I have the one of one dark hole, one giant trinade, and one book of moon. Uh, next will be the uh, traps. I played uh, triple dimensional prism because once you know all your monsters are small, so your opponent thinking they can attack over them is kind of an issue. So if you just have dimensional prison, you wait for them to summon something big and then just remove it. Very simple concept. The same goes for a compulsory, um, which I run in threes, because your monsters are small, and if they synchro summon, assuming it's not, you know, if it's like a Stardust or something, just compulsory it back. Or if you're playing against Samurais, they, you know, play Kageki and then get their Kagamusha, and then you can just compulsory the Kagamusha and run over the Kageki, and you have stopped Shein. And that's that's mainly what I use compulsory for in that matchup. Um, double warning. It's warning. I mean, it's you know stop them from summoning stuff you don't want. Two seven tools of the bandit. Seven tools. I have I've ran seven tools in every deck I've built ever. It's that good in my eyes. Being able to stop. It can stop solemn warning. I mean, if you go to bamboo shoot and they solemn warning, you just seven tools it. They paid two thousand. You paid one thousand. And your monster's still on the field. <clears throat> so it's not bad. Um, and then the one of Mirror Force, Psalm Judgment, Royal Oppression, and then my favorite of them all, Trap Dust Shoot. Dust Shoot is another one of those things that can keep your opponent from getting big monsters on the field. You just hit Dust Shoot and get their problematic stuff out of their hand. I've emptied entire hand, because I used to play Mind Crush too. And, um, you can take out a Chalice and play Mind Crush if you really want to play it. But, um, pretty much Dust Shoot can help you empty your opponent's whole hand and know what they have, so it's not bad. Um, I'm gonna move on to the side deck now. Double Cyber Dragon, I, this is basically like a side deck staple to most people now. Um, DD Crow for the plant matchup, because when they go to Pot of Avarice and they pick their five targets, you just DD Crow one of the targets and then Pot of Avarice fizzles out. Let's see, next is Kinetic Soldier, for obvious reasons, for heroes and for uh, samurais. One MST, because basically my whole deck stops magic and traps, but in case I'm having problems, you can always just side in the MST. Double Chain Disappearance, because everything this format plays something small, and especially like Kagamusha, which shuts down samurais. Goes in match. Um, goes and match. You, I was playing rivalry of the warlords, but goes and match seems to be more effective at this moment. Um, double bottomless because it's not that good at the moment, but when priority goes away, it'll it'll be really good. And then next is pulling the rogue because it stops monarchs and gadgets and things like that. And then for the extra, play a beast be just because magical android. Caster, Brianak, Iron Chain, Gaia. Uh, my friend is borrowing my Barkeon, so this is Barkeon. Black Rose, Ancient Fairy, uh, Scrap Arch Fiend, Colossal, Thought Ruler, Stardust, Red Dragon, and Chimera Tech. Uh, that is pretty much it. The deck, I had a different version of the deck built, and it came in second at Locals. And I've rebuilt it since, and that, and... This version is so much better than the other one was. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and uh, I'll see you later.